Have you been considering taking a professional certification that will set you apart as a DevOps engineer and unsure of which to go for? Trust me, I can totally relate with that and I'm here to help you. In my most recent video, I shared my view about DevOps certifications, whether they're worth it, whether they're not, and really what's the best way to approach them. Make sure to watch the video as you definitely learn a thing or two. Now let's get into the agenda for today. I'll be breaking down the top five certifications for DevOps engineers in 2024. We'll be diving into the specific skills and knowledge each of these exams test. These skills are meant to be applied practically and I'll do my best to illustrate the applications with real world scenarios. Without further ado, let's get to it. At number five, we have the Docker Certified Associate Certification. Docker has reshaped software development, being a leading technology for containerization and enhancing application portability, scalability, efficiency and a lot more benefits it offers. The Docker Certified Associate Examination tests your proficiency in Docker systems and container management. It covers container orchestration, container image creation, image management and container registries. It also extends to Docker installation and configuration, networking in a Dockerized environment, security of Docker containers and images, container storage, as well as setting up and managing container volumes. These exam costs $195 US dollars and you have 90 minutes to complete 42 discrete option multiple choice and 13 multiple choice questions. To pass this exam, you must score a minimum of 70% and the results are delivered immediately. The certification is also valid for two years and you'll be required to update your certification every other year. Now let's see how you can apply the knowledge gained from this certification in a company called DevOps Dynamo. So imagine DevOps Dynamo is facing deployment bottlenecks. You as the DevOps certified expert are expected to step in and streamline their process. You should be able to create Docker files that minimize build times and resource usage. You should be able to implement Docker Compose for their microservices architecture, ensuring seamless communication between services. And by introducing Docker orchestration, you should be able to deploy and manage these services across multiple environments, enhancing scalability and resilience. You should also be able to leverage Docker in a CI CD pipeline that significantly reduces deployment time and improves reliability. By applying skills learned from the Docker certification, you're expected to be able to resolve the deployment bottlenecks faced at DevOps Dynamo. At number four, we have the ASHICOP Certified Terraform Associate. Terraform significance in infrastructure as code cannot be overstated. And this certification focuses on your understanding of infrastructure as code concepts, your understanding of Terraform's purpose versus other infrastructure as code tools. It also expects you to understand Terraform basics. It tests your understanding of Terraform usage outside of its core workflow. It checks how well you can interact with Terraform modules, implement and manage Terraform states, work with Terraform configuration, and how well you understand the Terraform cloud capabilities. The Terraform Certified Associate exam costs 70.5 US dollars, and candidates have 60 minutes to answer 57 multiple choice questions. The minimum score of 70% is required to pass and results are provided immediately after the exam. Also note that the certificate is valid for two years after which you need to recertify. On gaining the certification, let's assume you work for a global bank and there's a need to modernize the infrastructure. This is where you come in as a Terraform expert. With the knowledge gained, you should be able to craft Terraform configurations that define the global infrastructure incorporating best practices for reusability and concepts like modularity. Through Terraform, you should be able to automate the provisioning of secure and compliant cloud resources, and you'll be expected to define configurations which include detailed IAM roles, network setups, and auto-scaling groups, significantly reducing manual workload and potential human error. At number three is the Microsoft Certified Azure DevOps Certification, which is aimed at testing your knowledge in designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps solutions. This certification dives into the configuration of processes and communication, design and implementation of source control, design and implementation of build and release pipelines, and the development of a security and compliance plan, and the implementation of an instrumentation strategy 
on Microsoft Azure. The Microsoft Azure DevOps certification costs 165 US dollars and you'll be given 150 minutes to complete a mix of 40 to 60 multiple choice and scenario based questions. To pass, you need to score a minimum of 700 on a scale of 1000 and the results are available immediately. The certification is also valid for two years after which you need to renew it. Let's say you work for a company called Agile Adapt right and you're tasked with improving agile adapt software delivery on microsoft azure you should be able to leverage your expertise as a microsoft certified devops engineer expert by streamlining project management with azure boards enhancing code collaboration through azure repos and automating deployment via azure pipelines drastically reducing errors and deployment times further you should think about fortifying security and compliance with Azure Monitor and Application Insights. These skills that you've gathered from the certification would help transform Agile Adapt's efficiency and delivery to customers. At number two, we have the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional. AWS is a leading cloud platform and having a good grasp of the services and offerings would definitely set you apart. This certification tests a deep understanding of AWS environment, including the SDLC automation, configuration management and infrastructure as code, the setup of resilient cloud solutions, monitoring and logging, incident and event response, as well as security and compliance. The AWS certified DevOps engineer pro exam costs 300 USD. It lasts for three hours and consists of 75 multiple choice and multiple response questions. The passing score is a minimum of 750 out of 1000 and results are delivered immediately after the exam. The certification is valid for three years after which you need to recertify. So let's say you work for a company called Cloud Innovate, which is facing challenges with manual deployments and lack of operational insights on AWS. As a certified AWS DevOps professional, you should be able to revamp their infrastructure, implement a CI CD code pipeline, integrate code build for continuous integration, and deploy applications seamlessly across AWS environments. By leveraging tools like CloudWatch and X-Ray, you should be able to provide the team with actionable insights, significantly reducing downtime and improving user satisfaction. Your approach to identity and access management should ensure that Cloud innovates operations as secure, compliant, and scalable. Sitting at number one, we have the CNCF Certified Kubernetes Administrator. Kubernetes is one of the most popular, if not the most popular, container orchestration tool. And the certification is for every professional or aspiring professional that works with Kubernetes. It's one of the certifications I've gained the most value from over the course of my career. The CKA curriculum focuses on the Kubernetes cluster architecture, installation and configuration, workloads and scheduling, services and networking, storage and troubleshooting on Kubernetes. The certification costs $370 five US dollars and candidates are challenged with about 15 to 20 performance based tasks over a two hour period and you need to score a minimum of 66 percent to pass and results are provided within 36 hours. CK certifications gained after the 1st of April will be valid for two years after which you need to recertify. So let's say you work for a company called ScaleRight. ScaleRight Solutions, yeah, that sounds more like it. ScaleRight Solutions. And it's a big e-commerce you know, company struggling with scalability. As the Kubernetes administrator, you'll be expected to architect a Kubernetes cluster that scales dynamically, you know, leveraging features like the horizontal horizontal port autoscaler and well-configured resource limits. You will need to design a robust networking model that segments traffic efficiently between services, you know, ensuring secure and fast customer transactions. You should also know when to use features like persistent volume. And generally, your work as a certified Kubernetes administrator should not only stabilize the platform during peak traffic, but should also set a new standard for the organization. Now we've gone through the top five certifications for DevOps engineers in 2024. And if you notice one thing, you see that there's a lot of expectation placed on you when you gain a certification. And this is something I mentioned in my last video, but I'll re-emphasize that the only way to make certification work for you is by actually putting in the work and being curious about every detail you come across throughout your certification journey. Like literally do your best to understand 
every single topic it definitely will come in handy when you're faced with challenging scenarios in the real world so tell me what's your next step how do you plan to harness you know these skills in order to boost your career or enhance processes within your organization i'm really eager to hear about your goals and your ideas so feel free to share them in the comments below if this video has sparked your curiosity or made the devops certification path you know less confusing don't hesitate to hit the like button share it within your network and subscribe for more tech insights i'll see you in the next video bye